Hello. Okay, so today we're looking at aligning objects um, together. So my red and my green are not quite in line with each other. You can see they're not quite there. And my purple and yellow, I've not got them quite on top of each other how I'd like them to be. So we're going to start off with the red and the green. What we're going to do is select both of them. And there's two ways of doing this. You can either go up to the top um, bar, and there's one here that has a long, clear rectangle and a shorter, a grey one. And if you click hover over it, it will say align and also gives you the command. So I can either click that or I can press L on my keyboard and then it gives you this option. Now, if I put three dots, I can put them both to the back. So they're both in line at the back. I can either choose them to be in the middle. If I do it again, they're both there in the middle. Now, if I look from above and just um, focus on that. So with it from above, we'll reverse that. As you can see, so I can either put them in the middle, and it gives you an outline of where they'll be. So I can have them in the front the same. Um, but then I can also change this way if I want them both to be in the same place there, which I don't want to do. You can also align it different ways. So if I change my orientation, I can have them both this way at the back, which isn't ideal, but you can, yeah, align them in many different ways. I'm going to just align them together this way. So now I know they're right in line, and that's all I wanted to do. If I want to move this over, I can click it and use my arrow keys and just move it over until they're touching. Okay, so for the other one, over here, we're going to look at the purple and the yellow. Let me just focus that a little bit. Okay, and as you can see, they're not quite, I want them on top of each other, and I've done it so they're not actually together yet. So again, I can either click up at the align um, icon or I can click or press L. Press L, I can do that way. I can have them both at the top if I wanted to. So if I want them both at the same height, um, they'll go to the top one. If I want the yellow one down again, and oh, actually no, I want it down there. I can click the bottom and um, black circle. But yes, clicking L, sorry, pressing L or um, clicking the align symbol I can then align them that way and if I want them to top each other I can change orientation so move around to, to here I can use the little box in the corner for that the cube or I can move around other ways so there we go I can have them right next to each other both floating the same distance um, from the ground but yeah if I want them to top each other I might want to have them both over here so I'm going to use this far one on the left so that way the yellow is on top of the purple. Click that and there you go. And again, if I want to just lower it down slightly, both the same, touching, I can then just lower it slightly like that. And there we go, they're now in line. So yeah, that's how you align objects in Tinkercad. All you do is either, once you select your um, objects, how many you want to select, you can go up and click on the line or press the L as a shortcut and it'll give you the options of how to align it and um, whatever you want. So yeah, hope that helps. And until next time. Bye.